Yo, yo, people, what's going on? It's 2 30 in the morning, most of you lot sleeping, but bun it. I've got a bit of a rant. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it as short and sweet as possible, and I know this is gonna keep cutting out 10 seconds after because it's Snapchat, but let's go. All right, look, I'm frustrated. I'm so, so frustrated right now. Yeah, let me tell you why. Most of you won't even be frustrated by the reason why I'm frustrated, but I'm frustrated, so I just feel like I need to get this off my chest um, in order to sleep tonight. Alright, so it's 2.30, yeah? Some of you lot are going to wake up in about, I don't know, four, four, five, maybe six hours, because you've got to go to work. You're going to go to work, you're going to get up, brush your teeth, get washed, eat breakfast, most of you won't, leave the house to go somewhere you don't want to go, you don't want to be. Meeting people that you don't want to meet and you don't want to see. Why? Because you're at work doing a job in order to survive and live the life that you're living, yeah? What's my point? Okay, that frustrates me. Why does that frustrate me? Because you don't have to do that. You ain't got to do that. You can be doing anything you want to do, anything you want to do, but you choose to do that. Why? I have no idea, okay? And some of you are going to say, Oh, you got to pay the bills, you got to do this, you got to do that. I understand, I live in the same world that you do, and I go through the same things. Starbucks still cost me £2.29 to get hot chocolate caramel cream. What I don't understand, and I will never understand it, is getting up, doing a job that you don't want to do forever. Forever. Because you think that you don't have the choice to do anything else. Like, I know people, friends of mine, that have made careers out of throwing bread in a toaster. And people want to tell me that they got careers, they got things they want to do, ambitions, dreams, etc, etc, that they can't do because there ain't a job for it, or I can't do that because it oh, I, I, I. don't make sense, don't make sense. Do you know what it comes down to, yeah? It comes down to belief. That's the only thing, yeah? Belief. How much do you believe that you can do what you want to do, that you can be where you want to be and you can get what you want to get, yeah? Because if you believe it as much as half of you think you do, or say you do, because you would have it, hands up, bottoms down, you would have exactly what it is that you want if you actually believed it. But you don't believe it, you don't believe it, don't kid yourself. I hear excuses every time. And you know, the biggest thing is, oh, how am I gonna do that? It doesn't matter how you're gonna do something. If you know what you wanna do, yeah, that's it. Everything else will get figured out for you. I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this because I know this, I've experienced this, I've done this. When I was 12 years old, I said, I wanna be an actor. I wanna be in Hollywood, I wanna be doing this, I wanna be doing that, okay? Fair enough. I'm not there yet. I'm not in Hollywood now. I'm not, I'm not in the biggest franchise films or doing the massive TV shows. But I've done some. I've done this, I've done that, I've done a few TV shows, uh, you know. And that's because I know I'm gonna get to where I wanna get to. Not because someone's gonna hand it to me, but there isn't any other option. Like, no other option at all. And if someone says something to you and they say there is no choice, you either do this or you do that, then that's a choice that you've got, yeah? You either do that or you do this. But what about if someone says you either do this or you do this? That's, that's one choice that you've got. So there's nowhere else to go. There's nowhere to turn. You've, you've only got one option. What do you think is going to happen if you've got one option to do something? You're going to do it because it's the only option that you have in order to do something. Like you might see me going around. Like, I, I just got back from LA, yeah? I was there for two weeks. In July, I was there for a month, yeah? Trying to pursue some stuff. Actively trying to make trying to make uh, moves towards where I want to be, to, towards the goals that I want to have, what I want to achieve, yeah? And they say, oh, you want to be in Hollywood, you've got to get an agent, you've got to be in a, a massive Hollywood film, blah, 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 and then it, that it will happen, blah, 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 blah. I said to myself, no, I'm not going to rely on an agent, I'm not going to rely on being in a film, I'm going to make sure that if there was no one in this earth that gave me an opportunity, I would still get there. That's the way I think about it. I, I ain't got a choice. There is no choice. If, if, if hands down, everyone dies today, I will still get to, well, if I find dies, then be no point. But you get my point. But keeping everything in my own hands. Create a show when I was 17 years old. Go on YouTube, do some more shows, create a comedy platform. Do this show, do that. Doctor Who, EastEnders, blah, 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 blah. I'm still not in Hollywood yet. So guess what? I'm going to go to LA where Hollywood is and I'm going to make myself get in there. And if they still don't let me in, then I'm going to keep on producing content, I'm going to keep on working with people, keep producing two to three hundred million views per month on my channel, make enough money to be able to make the films, make the TV shows, and work with the people that I want to work with myself and fund it myself because no one else has given me the opportunity. You know why? Because I either do this or I do this. That's it. There's one option. So if it's not working that way or that way, then it has to work that way. I haven't got a clue, not an ounce of jolly in my brain, mate. I'm telling you, not an ounce of jolly in my brain to know how I'm gonna get to where I wanna get to. All I know is I'm gonna get there. 
So whether or not it's through this route or that route, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to get there in the end. That's all that matters. Because half of you are doing the same thing, the same thing, and getting the same results, and you're not changing what you're doing, and yet you're complaining. It doesn't make sense. Look, 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 look. Have a look at this, yeah? One sec. I'm trying to drive my car. This is a new car, by the way, because I wanted to get a new car. I wanted a new Mercedes. Didn't know how I was going to get it, but I've got it. Why? Because I saw myself in my head driving the car. I was like, oh, I can see myself driving the car, which means I must be able to drive that car because I can see myself driving the car. It's starting to make sense now. But if I'm in my car and I'm trying to drive it and it's not driving, I'm obviously doing something wrong, isn't it? So if I keep on trying to drive it in the same way and the car is not moving, it means I should change what I'm doing. Because clearly from an outside perspective, if I keep trying to drive the car and it's clearly not moving, I start to look a little bit insane. Doing the same thing, expecting different results is borderline crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the ignition and the engine's going to turn on. Way! That's called a metaphor, by the way, because some of you don't get it. So I'm, just, I'm, uh, I'm so frustrated. Sorry. And then on top of that, once you see someone doing something, you'll be like to them, "Oh, you're weird." Yes, yes, yes. Because they're not staying in the same job, doing what they don't want to do with people that they do not like. They're doing something about it, and they're weird. They're insane. They're, they're abnormal. Of course, they're abnormal. Because they're not doing what everyone else is doing and being a weekend millionaire, going out in a club on a weekend, spending all their money, dossing around and then <coughs> hanging themselves on Monday morning. Dropping shade, dropping hate at people that are trying to live their life and trying to do what they want to do. Why? Why? Why are you dropping shade? Why are you hating on people? I'll tell you why you're hating on people. Because you are sick and tired of being sick and tired of the job that you're doing or whatever it is that you want to be doing. You're not doing it. The poor man's mentality, you'll bring down another man who's doing what they want to be doing because you can't do it. You make no sense. Instead of getting up, going out there saying, what is it I want to be doing? Like I said earlier, if there's someone that can make a career out of throwing bread in a toaster, I'll put up a video in a minute actually. And you can do anything that you want to do. Anything. And you don't have to know exactly how you're going to do it. You just need to know that you want to do it. And once you know you're going to do it, you just start the universe. The universe, God, the kudos, whatever you want to call it, whatever, I don't really care. But that thing starts to move and then things start happening. You start meeting people you didn't think you'd meet. All of a sudden you get that job that you thought you were never going to get because you stepped out and you started doing what you thought you wanted to do. Real talk, man, half of you are burning inside. Burning. And you're going to wake up, you're going to watch this video on your way to the place that you don't want to be doing the stuff that you don't want to be doing. And you're going to be upset. And you know what, first of all, before I, before I finish this, let me just address what I think the most frequent comment is going to be. Yeah? Oh, I have to do this job, I have to do this job because if I don't do this job I ain't got money and I've got responsibilities and all that crap. Do you honestly think that everyone that is doing what they wanted to be doing, the most successful people in the world, haven't got bills to pay and haven't got things that they need to pay for? Of course they have, but they did something that most people don't want to do and most people never even think of. It's called a sacrifice. S-A. Short-term pleasure for long-term gain. Short-term pleasure for long-term gain gain yeah go without that that night out every friday night or every saturday night go without it for a month or two or three or four or six or a year like what most of these people did so that you can have what you want to have long term it makes sense if someone said to you right now yeah let go of everything that means so much to you that really doesn't really mean anything at all yeah for a year and work on something that you love doing that you're going to be able to make a crowd. Actually, now let's extend it. Let's say five years. Five years. Let go of it all. And then for the next 50, 60 years of your life, you're going to be happy. That's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. So why wouldn't you do that? Why don't, why don't most people in this world do that? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because they're fearful. They don't believe that what they want to do, they can do. And if you don't believe it, then you need to install yourself with some personal development. And gear yourself up and realise what this world is actually about. Because otherwise, you are going to live for 50 years doing stuff pointlessly. And half of you, that you, you might get a little bit inspired by this video. Oh, thank God, hopefully. But you still won't do nothing about it. A week will go by, you'll forget everything. You'll forget how you're feeling right now listening to these words. And get on with your life. I'm trying to do it early. I'm trying to do as much as I can now. Because I don't want to be working for my life. And not enjoy all of the things that mean so much to me. My family, my friends, everything that I enjoy doing. Imagine this. Let me put it in, into perspective for you. Imagine, yeah? You're in a line, yeah? Queuing up. Again, this is a metaphor. Queuing up for a burger for the rest of your life. And you never, ever get to taste the burger that you've been queuing up for. That's what half of you are doing. Living this life, 
doing what you don't want to be doing, never getting to enjoy what you want to be doing, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And this is not me being ga- I'm just frustrated. I'm not gassed up on anything or anything like that. Because to be quite frank, I could not make this video and I know I'm going to get to where I want to be because I believe it. So sure to the point where I can risk my house, risk everything that I have, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And only when you're that sure will you be able to get there. Because what you're saying to the world is that there is no other option. So you have to let me do this or I have to be doing this because otherwise the only other option is I'm going to be doing it. Just a mindset, man. Change your mindset and everything you see, everything start to change around you. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this because I love you lot. I'll give you a little key. I try to, you have 100% of your life, okay? 100%, yeah? I try to divide my time into three sections. 33% of my time, I spend with people who are not on the same frequency as me. People that I can help, people that I can educate, people that I can help to move and to do whatever they want to be doing. 33%, the next 33% is with my peers, people on the same level as me, people that iron sharpens iron, and we can all get up to where we want to get up to together. And the last 33%, people above me, mentors, not personal all the time, maybe books, maybe videos, just things that are going to install me and help me to educate myself. And then that makes up 99%, and that last 1%, I visualise where I want to be. 1% of my time I spend daydreaming, like we all do. But it's 2.50 in the morning. I got back from LA a couple of days ago. I'm still jet lagged, which is why I'm still up at this time. But I will still be up at 6 o'clock in the morning, in the gym, doing what I want to be doing, and then off to work, living the life that I want to live. Why? Because I ain't got a choice. Peace and love.